Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now today I wanted to make this video because this is one of those games that peak for a short time and die out quickly. Actually, this this game didn't even peak for a short time. It peaked for a pretty long time. And it's honestly sad to see what happened to this game. Now this game is Vehicle Legends. A lot of you might know this game. Um, and y'all might know it for its fake models, to say the least. Because if you guys didn't know, back in 2021 they used to have fake models in the game, like this. And that was also around when Vehicle Legends was peaking in 2021. But in 2020, 2020 to 2021, what I say was this game's peak. But you know, they were adding like a lot of fake cars, so I assume people got tired of it and moved on to Driving Empire, which in 2021 was like insanely good. Like, I would say better than today because there was just a wider variety. Right, ratty. I forgot how to say that word. But there was like a wider selection of cars. But like, I say Driving Empire back then was better. Like, you know, people got tired of the fake cars and they moved on to Driving Empire. Grand Driving Empire early last year started with the crates and all the car removals like Ferrari when they had the real models back in 2023. And you know then they came to this game which around the same time they started adding real models like like this, the LFA. Like you know they started adding all of those real models. Around that same time when Driving Empire was on, I would say, a downfall. Vehicle Legends was having all the real models and all. And this game got like 30,000 players on average, which was spectacular to say the least. And, you know, ever since then, ever since Driving Empire has gotten the car licenses, I would say this game has kind of died. I mean, honestly... I get why you, some of y'all might blame Driving Empire because you know, we have Pagani in this game, which was removed when Driving Empire got the car licenses. Then we had uh, Zenvo. But you know, this game is also getting car licenses because they have like W Motors, they have Spania, they have Spiker in the Vel, Ital Design, they also have that. Like, this game tries to stay in competition with Driving Empire by adding licensed cars, but bro, it's just not working. And it's a really good reason as to why it's not working. You see, this game has removed an insane amount of cars. No, like, you don't understand. If you guys saw my video I made like three months ago, Ferrari was removed, and not too soon after they added fake Ferraris. Which are not named, which are now named Cavallo, which was Driving Empire's Ferrari name. As you can see, we only have four. We have this pig right here. We have the Testarossa, the F8, and the F40. These are the only Ferraris right now. We just, ha we just have, we have just had so many car removals to the point where people just quit. You see, like. This dealership is noticeably empty. If you played the game back then, this dealership is so dry. Because we used to have cars like Koenigseggs, um, Pagani's. Like, we used to have all of that. We used to have um, Audi. Shit, like, honestly, it's just been a lot of cars. It's Lotus, um, Audi, Bentley, all of that. Like, so many car bends have been removed. This didn't even used to be a track pass car. This wasn't in the track pass. And this was only replaced because they had to remove Ferrari. The 935, wherever it is. Yeah, the 935 also wasn't in the track pass. This had to be put in the track pass because Ferrari, I mean, Aston Martin was off sale. And they had to replace it with this. Like, so many things have happened to this game. And people just don't want to stick around. And on top of having all those car removals, they have the audacity to release bad updates. 
I'm not saying like, I'm not saying like, um, like, it's the fact that they have these mid updates. I get that they can't release Lessons Cards every week. That's not even the problem. I'm fine with them not releasing every uh, uh, Lessons Card week. It's the thing that they released the 2X Cash event instead of releasing something like at least a fake Ferrari or a BMW like they normally do. Because I remember when like a fake Ferrari came out, they also came out with this, the M4 GT3. And, you know, that was a okay update. It was very mid. But it was better than no cars. And now, time to time, they just come up with a 2x cash event and call it an update, which is just extreme. Which is just an extreme letdown. Like I said, I get they they can't release licensed cars every week, but that also doesn't mean they can't release cars at all every week. Because I remember they would they used to like release cars every week. Even if even on top of the car removals, for like at least a month after all those car removals, they were still releasing cars weekly. And now I'm just wondering what's happening. And a lot of y'all will blame Driving Empire for it, but at the same time, sometimes it's not even Driving Empire, the car brands find out themselves. And plus, I mean, at the same time, it's because Driving Empire and Vehicle Legends are like enemies, basically. Because if you guys know what the history of this game, and then he actually created Wafer. He was like the actual founder of Wafer, and he used to work with Borgus and all. And they got into an argument on something along the lines of that. And you know they separated, and Faninian went and worked on this game, which is Vehicle Legends. Then you know Borgus got Nick and Hackery, you know all of that. So I think. Ever since then, Driving Empire and Vehicle Legends have been rivals ever since. So I think, so I think, on top of that raid that happened a few months ago, earlier this year, I think that might have just like increased the tension between both games. And now each time they get a license, any ch any chance they get, they try to take down cars out of this game, which I it, which I I like. It's a very scummy thing to do, but like. It's competition. They'll do anything to take each other down. And now there is the risk of McLaren getting a put off sale or removed because Driving Emperor is getting McLaren licenses this Friday. So, like, I, I, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but I just suggest you buy McLarens because they might get put off sale and you might not see them again. Because I'm not sure if this game has McLaren licenses has bought McLaren licenses I have no clue but like I said I just recommend you buy McLarens in case they get put off so but yeah it's just all this tension and now like like I said the only thing that's holding this game back from being fairly popular is the mid updates the terrible updates and the lack of cars we have we get more cars removed than the amount of cars we get added. We have more car removals than car additions, which is just insanely sad. And it's crazy because um, Vehicle Legends used to add, on average, like three cars per update back in 2023. Now they've just died. Like I don't know what's going on. It's I like it's probably Funinian just caught up with the licenses that you can't really focus on modeling cars. Like. Even so, man, try to do something. Like we can't just, you can't just not add cars. Cause I've seen Vehicle Legends main YouTubers like, uh, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but this guy, uh, this guy, and Tiger Mahi Dad. Um, those are like Vehicle Legends main YouTubers, and they just, <laughs> like, bro, they've been criticizing this game a lot. Same for AGB. AGB is like getting fed up with this game too. I can tell because AGB is also like another main content creator of this game. I think like the best one at the moment. And like he he is getting fed up with the game clearly. Because he made an update video on this game on Friday and clearly he was not happy. It's part of the car who also used to make videos on this game. Holy stop. I've not seen a single video from Car of the Car. How about Vehicle Legends ever since we got the last license, which was developed. I don't mean, I don't, actually, I don't even think he made a video of that. I'm not sure. But 
it's just the fact that they're releasing these bad updates to the point where it's causing YouTubers to stop, like, making videos for the game, which is terrible. Fogzack, who is, like, the most popular vehicle of this YouTuber, he flat out, he just quit. I don't know what happened to him. He just quit. He just, I, he just doesn't make driving Empire videos. He doesn't make videos at all. He used to make driving Empire videos. Like, I used to love that dude. And I don't know what's going on. He just doesn't post videos anymore. Uh, he's not posted in, like, eight months. And the last video he posted was, like, the Porsche Mission R. And he doesn't, and ever since that video, he's not posted. Or he might have, but I just don't know. But like I said, this game is just on a really bad downfall. I don't know what can save this game at this point. At this point, they just need to get something like Lamborghini licenses. Even that, even that would save them. They're just too far down in this hole to the point where they can't. They just can't do anything to save themselves. <laughs> like they just can't do anything. And on top of that, they're trying to like spice up the game or something. I'm trying to do something by adding easter eggs, cause, uh... I heard there's like an easter egg back here. But like... They... Try to hide easter eggs, that's just not gonna do anything. Uh... Wherever it is, I thought it was back here. Oh, it might be the other one. But like, the thing is, this game is just boring. That's not to mention the lack of events this game has. This game has a very bad lack of events, and it is really holding this game back. Like, really, really holding it back. So I hope this game makes a comeback because it used to be like among, like it used to be like the best card game on Roblox back in 2021, 22. But like, you know. Nothing ever lasts forever, and I think this game's greatness is up because Driving Emperor is rising. And like people that used to play Vehicle Legends a lot, see what Driving Emperor is doing and see how bad this game is doing, and just move on to Driving Emperor. So yeah, that's all I have to say for this video. I feel like I might get comments from a bunch of Vehicle Legends kids, uh, from from a bunch of Vehicle Legend kids. But guess what, I don't care. So, yeah, that's all I have to say for this video. I don't know, man. This game is dead. And, yeah. That's all I have for this video.